had a couple students asking me about shots, drills, why you're actually hitting the ball, okay? So one of the things I want you to understand is you get better at it, you can even hit the ball with the stupid little drill. So if I set the ball down here and I feel this stupid little drill, drag the club back, clear my hips, I mean, it's all exaggerated, right? But I can still hit a ball with that. So I'm gonna drop it back, lean into it, clear my hips, boom. That's still, I can still hit a ball doing that. I don't particularly like hitting a ball with a stupid little drill, particularly we're on mats here because it's winter, but I don't like it too much because it's a little harder to really have consistent ground contact when you're flopping around that much. So if you're trying to do something and you want to actually get on the range and hit some balls and feel that sequence, then I suggest you hit these little half shots, these punch shots. So it looks a little like this. You're going to set up normal. You're going to take it only back about halfway, and then you're going to turn through, and you're going to try and keep your hands as quiet as you can. So you want to rotate your body through and leave your hands quiet. Now, they're actually going to release, but you're not going to feel it. So I'll show you that. I use a pitching wedge for all this. Pull out a long iron. It gets complicated and hard. I just want to feel this, so I don't need to make it any harder than it already is. So I make sure i got a neutral grip or strong grip set up. I'm going to take it back to about here, and then I'm just going to try and rotate through and keep my hands quiet. Go back hit it like that. I hit a pitching wedge. That's probably 70 yards, 80 yards in the air. I'm not trying to hit this hard. Everything we do, we train simple and we train a little bit short and easy so that we don't end up over swinging and going back to what we would normally do. So again, I'm going to take it to about here. Try to really turn my hips and keep my hands quiet. So I call it a kind of a punch drill because if you were trying to hit a low shot under a tree, that's kind of what you do. You get here and lean into it. Try not to release too much so the ball doesn't come up. But do it one more time. Take it back about halfway, go here, hit a punch shot. My hand should finish kind of here when I'm done. Because if I'm pulling my arms through here, this, this speed up here without this speed is because you're using your arms. I'll show you what that looks like. A lot of times, be careful, don't do this. Get in here, go here, and then you push through with your arms and show up at this end. I go here, push through like that, my club's gonna go way up there. Don't want that to happen. Okay guys go to work.